So it is Thanksgiving today, so um, happy late Thanksgiving. You guys will be getting this. Um, probably we'll say happy Black Friday for you guys. Um, so what is going on today? I got the engine out of the house. So we are chilling right here um, on the crane. It is just mounted in one and two mounting points for now. Uh, I'm not too sure it needs anything more than that, honestly, but if it does, we have, um, and then also the tie down around the bottom. So three mounting points, basically. Um, today, I'm going to pull the axles off of the transmission that is sitting over there by the car. So I'm going to pull the axles off and then we're going to work on putting the clutch in the um, flywheel and clutch on and then putting the transmission on while it's on the engine stand. So the clutch line, uh, it's way back here. Um, the one that I got with the transmission at u -Pole, or not u -Pole, U-Pay, but at the scrapyard, um, it did leak. So I had to order a new one from USP Motorsports. Um, I just ordered the Performance uh, stainless steel braided clutch line. Um, I two date it, uh, so it shipped out Tuesday, and then Wednesday, it should have been here Thursday, but um, all the shipping is closed, and I knew that, so I two date it, so it would be here on Friday, so I didn't have to wait, and then overnighting was way too expensive, so. Well, my initial plan was to just use um, the 3 8 ratchet and ratchet the bolts off of um, the axles, but the whole transmission spun. Um, I thought I could put it in like first or second gear and it wouldn't spin, but everything spins in reverse, so fail. So I'm going to get the impact going and then I'm just going to zip them uh, out with the impact. So both axles are off. Um, it was kind of weird to me when I pulled the first one off. Uh, the way that the axles work on these O2Js, um, or 02Js, whatever you want to call them, uh, it is like um, an open design. So this is from the O1M, and it's got this metal cover on it. So this is where all the grease and stuff is. Um, with the uh, 02Js, it is just caked with grease. Um, you pull the axle off and you can see everything and like the whole rotating assembly. So, um, yeah, it was just kind of weird seeing that. Um, the car that we did pull all the stuff out of was pretty much immaculate. Um, I'm not too sure why it was in the junkyard. Um, maybe they had uh, like front end damage. The whole front end was basically gone off of the car. Um, but I don't know, or the engine was trashed or something like that. Maybe um, that's why the engine was gone. Maybe it was just blown and they popped it out and just took it to the junkyard or something. Um, but I don't know what's wrong with it. So we'll see if this transmission holds up or if it's just gonna be like, that was the failing point. I'm not too sure. Uh, so yeah, got me kind of worried. All right guys, so I did get the transmission up on the porch. Here's the engine. Uh, I've got the clutch sitting over there. I'm about ready to start throwing the flywheel and stuff on. Um, but I did pull the lines off of the automatic transmission cooler. Uh, you probably can't see inside the line, but you can kind of see it here. So that end is totally plugged. Um, and I used like a, uh, head gasket repair um, stuff and that is definitely the stuff that I poured in there so that stuff that's coming out is just it plugged this hole bad so this hose does not flow anything that does not flow anything so that is probably why my transmission overheated and broke these are totally ruined it's like all the way this whole hose is just caked with it, so cool. Alright 
guys. So, um, the flywheel does not fit like perfectly or it's snug on there. So what I'm going to do is I have the bolts about hand tight right now. And then I'm going to do like a star pattern, uh, tightening them a little bit and it should just suck the flywheel right onto um, the crankshaft and we should be good. Alright guys, so we torqued um, all of these pressure plate bolts, so that is all torqued down, um, and I think we're ready to put the transmission on, so let's get that going. Alright guys, so I blew it, and we put the flywheel and stuff on without the dust tin. Um, so I got a dust tin off a 1.8T Audi, um, so that has to go on to seal the uh, flywheel and transmission from like the outside elements. Um, I only realized once we had the transmission on, so we pulled it back off um, and now we are, or I am going to uh, zip the bolts right out with the impact and then we'll put the dust shield this time and we'll get it all set to go. All right guys, so I did get the flywheel and clutch pieces off, um, and I did get the dust shield on as well. So here it is, it's got some nice shoe prints and stuff on it, so that's pretty cool, it gives it some character. Um, I was thinking I should just uh, throw the flywheel on with our impact and do it like the boosted boys and give it like a few ugga uggas or something uh, to get it all tight and not even worry about the torque but I don't know I feel like that's kind of risky so we're just gonna uh, re-put this stuff back on uh, it shouldn't take too long um, it originally took us about an hour to get all this stuff assembled just because we were trying to figure out what we were doing but uh, after taking it apart and then we're gonna put it back together it should be like a 10 minute process um, it's not too involved just making sure everything's clean and torqued to the right specs so I'm gonna throw it all back together and then we're gonna try and throw the transmission on and then hopefully um, after probably not after dinner actually I shouldn't say that uh, probably tomorrow after work I will be throwing the car uh, the transmission and engine back in the car um, and then we should be getting the clutch cable tomorrow afternoon as well so um, hopefully Saturday the car should be drivable hopefully so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that you guys don't need to see that process again um, so that's probably it for this video it's gonna be a pretty short video because we didn't really get much done and it's Thanksgiving so see you later thanks for watching all right guys so one last update um, all dressed up for dinner but we did get the transmission onto the engine so here it is as you guys can see it's all bolted up uh, it just needs to be tightened down torqued down um, and then the starter motor has to go on um, and that dust shield from the 1.8 uh, Audi fit perfectly so we are about ready to put the engine in so that's pretty exciting. <laughs>